Welcome back. Our next guest is Miss Susan Lednicki, and she's the nutrition educator for UNCE. And along with her is Chef Christopher Johns, and he's the executive chef at South Point Hotel and Casino. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Now I'm excited because it's <laughs> Chefs for Kids. Right. Chefs for Kids. Now, can you tell me some of the great things that are going on with Chefs for Kids? Well, this year we're going to have our annual fundraiser on March the 20th at the Paris Hotel again. This mm -hmm. is um, where we have our auction and dinner. But we started off the year for the first time this year. We had a 5K run and one mile fun walk, which uh, is in the line with what we want to teach children, <coughs> excuse me, to be healthy. And uh, we had a great time out there. And we plan to do another one beginning of January next year, another run and walk. Well, I, I, next year I'll try to be a part of that, that 5K. <laughs> we'll be I'm, looking for you. I'm going to get into training because I definitely want to be involved in this wonderful program. So tell me, I know a lot of people want to know, what is Chefs for Kids? Well, Chefs for Kids is um, a 501c3 organization, actually, that, that works to eliminate malnutrition and hunger in children. Mm -hmm. And we use education and awareness to do that. Uh, the Chefs Organization, ACF Chefs Las Vegas, teamed up with University of Nevada Cooperative Extension to come up with a nutrition education program in the schools. Mm -hmm. And so we go to, to at-risk schools in Clark County, and we also have uh, some schools up in Washoe County that we work with now, too. Uh, and we, we teach the kids about um, healthy eating, physical activity, uh, food safety, um, just a lot of different issues. Uh, throughout the year, we talk about healthy snacking, mm -hmm. and we, we, you know, we try to do different uh, snack lessons with the kids, things that they can learn how to prepare at home themselves, so that, and, and just kind of uh, teach them about you know, healthy choices that they can make from the foods that they have available to them. So we're not, you know, telling them you you know, need to go out and eat arugula, or you know, or so, something like that. That then you know, they're all, oh, oh, who? You know, so, but uh, you know, so we we just try to give them ideas of things from what they're that what they have. Mm -hmm. and say, you know, which is the better choice. And, and we never tell them, well, you can't eat this or you can't eat that because, you know, that, that just doesn't make sense to do that. People, as soon as you say no, they're going to go do it, mm -hmm. you know. So we, we try to help them understand why they need to choose the healthier types of foods, and we, we try to help them you know, learn a little bit more about physical activity and just the fact, you know, when we ask them, what does it do for you? They said, always they say, well, it's fun. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's fun. And and somehow, somewhere in, in between little kids and, and where we are as grown-ups, we forget that. It's fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and so the kids still have that. And so we try to, you know, help them remember that and help them remember that those things are really important. And it's not just sitting down and watching TV or just sitting down and reading a book or just, you know, they need to get up and move and really be active. And so those are the, that's why the 5K was so important to us because that really does fit with what we're trying to teach children is that, you know, physical activity as well as healthy eating yeah. are extremely important to us. And so we've been teaching that for, what, 20 years almost, 19 years, yeah. <clears throat> now tell me, what, what, what are some of the things that the, the children actually say to you when, when you get the opportunity to, to <clears throat> teach them some of the, the lessons? Well, we get a lot of comments from the children about, uh, can you come home and teach my mom how to cook? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of them say that they want to be chefs when they grow up. They're very interested in the food. They, they look at it. They ask us a lot of questions. We give little chefs hats. Uh, to the kids at each school, and some would go around and have the chefs autograph it. Yeah. And uh, we, we try and intermingle with the kids when we're there, and they ask a lot of questions. Some of us even ask if we know uh, Emerald and uh, <laughs> things like that. But the program itself, um, it is very good, and it gets children interested. We go to the, a different school once a month, mm -hmm. an at-risk school, and we'll take a hot breakfast there, a different property in town. Um, and a different chef prepares it. We get the food donated. 
and uh, the k kids look forward to it and you can see them all lining up outside especially in the winter in these cold wet mornings that we've had lately they're out there waiting to come in and the questions um, some of them are very simple like uh, we've had children come in and they point at something and say what's that and we said it's a strawberry and they say oh I've never seen a strawberry before mm -hmm. and uh, it's good for us to feel that we're giving back to the community we're helping and we know for a fact that it's done good and a lot of children have benefited and gone on some of the even gone into the culinary arts now if the community actually wanted to be involved in this program and I know you talked a little bit about your dinner how, how could they get involved in your your chefs for kids program well we do have the upcoming dinner and auction it's our 19th annual dinner and auction as Chris said at Paris Hotel on March mm -hmm. 20th mm -hmm. and people can come and support that um, tickets are $175 a person which too many at this time mm -hmm. with the economic crunch you know or, hey we just can't do it and we do understand that mm -hmm. um, but we can always have donations made you know if you want to donate a buck we'll take it mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. we we aren't proud you know and it all goes to the program we don't have administrators and 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 people that we pay to do chefs for kids so everything that that is given to chefs for kids goes toward the educational program in some way or another <clears throat> there's many ways um, like the dinner and auction we sell packages mm -hmm. um, we they vary from Richard Cena at Samstown always does a brunch for 50 people you'll take the whole catering department to somebody's house and do a Sunday brunch mm -hmm. very popular oh, it's uh, beautiful. We, we have uh, <laughs> diff different hotels and restaurants they put a menu together and go to the purchaser's house and we'll spend an evening there for dinner from anything from 12 to 20 people mm -hmm. uh, we have one we call the chef of the year invitational where seven to eight former chefs of the year of Las Vegas go to a house and cook one course each but along those are the live auction on the silent auction we we do things like packages uh, we'll put uh, gift certificates people who own restaurants uh, want a promotion or even a spa or beauty parlors they'll send in packages uh, gift certificates and we'll combine these and they raise money and everybody who comes to this dinner um, can't afford the big packages mm -hmm. you know the five six seven thousand dollar packages but they want to get involved in buying the, the items on the silent auction uh, this year I know we already have uh, some nice sets of cookware we have some glasses and wine decay uh, mm -hmm. decanters and we also have a wine table where we ask people to bring a bottle of wine and we auction that off that goes very well mm -hmm. and the money we raise all goes into the program like Sue says we don't pay people to be fundraisers for us or uh, administrate the program we get the money and we spend it on the kids and see that's that's the the, the great thing about this program it's it's all about the kids Absolutely. it's making a difference in their lives and helping them to make the right choices mm -hmm. and they don't end up making some of the wrong choices yeah. like I might <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it really it's helpful for them and I think that if anybody can be involved in chefs for kids they definitely should in any way I mean they can come out and help with the breakfasts if they like they can help with the 5k that we'll have next year again uh, certainly they can help with the dinner if they if they can't afford to donate they could come out and, and help with the evening with um, you know collecting the money or, or you know helping us to set up the the dining room or you know any of those things so they can call me at the office two five seven five five four eight mm -hmm. if they would like and um, offer their services and and we sure appreciate donate packages they have you know maybe you own a, um, a carpet cleaning company will take a package to clean somebody's carpets you know <laughs> whatever might might be available well I thank you both very much and I want my chef's hat you don't get one <laughs> and we thank you and we'll see you next time for another Extension Connection.